who knows what's to come yet. We could have a big, a big drop here. One there. Ah, a couple there. Ah, another couple. Couple of small ones. Yeah. From each one I get one, two, three, four, five, maybe six like this. Come on. 
Well, there you have it. Uh. Yeah, that's not too bad. I suppose we have about a few kilos there. Keep us going for a day or two. All right, I'll go and do something else later. Bye, potatoes. I've also weighed a large one, a medium one, and a small one together, and together that ma they made a half a kilogram. So therefore, it takes six potatoes to make a kilogram, and then that means that we have twelve and a half, roughly six, twelve and a half to thirteen um, kilograms. So it's, it's probably thirteen. So, for our Imperial and American friends, uh, there's 2.2 pounds to a kilogram, so we we'll multiply them up and I would say roughly we have 28 pounds of potatoes, or somewhere around 13 kilograms. I thought I'd show you this nice big cabbage. Uh, it's one, I'm only showing you the good things I have today. Uh, that's a great big cabbage there. And the other thing I want to show you is all those beautiful black beans, the black swan beans. They're absolutely superb. Kilograms coming off it every day. And they're superb. And they're so tasty. And that is one of my great uh, uh, supplies. I think it's marvelous. Green peppers are coming on nicely here. And we still have got... Uh, we still got coriander. Wanted to show you over here if I can get over. Um, I've been picking the broccoli, so still not not bad. This is broccoli in there. Uh, here is a great big butternut squash, and that's coming out today. I put one of those in with with some um, courgettes, so those courgettes come in as well. Again, the beetroot are fine and the leeks are doing fine uh, I'm only showing you the ones that are doing well carrots are still there you've seen them before I eat them every day and oh, I notice the grapes beginning to turn um, there's a, a, a grape over there he's beginning to turn red for me and there and there anyway that's it I'll see you later well, the potatoes have dried off, and now Charles is helping me. He's putting them in uh, the paper, brown paper bag, and uh, they will then go into the shed over there in a, in a dry, cool part of the shed. So there we have it. That wraps it up for today, and uh, you will see that I have shown you the best of the potatoes, cabbages, or any good stuff I have left, like the, the beetroot and the, the squash. So it's time now to wrap it up. I say goodbye to you. Have a great time. And it's time for Charles and I to get the barbecue going. So the fire to light. I have to cut some wood first. I have to cut some wood first. Yeah. I'll see if I can get one of the cucumbers for salad. Yes, that one will do, that's okay.